am going to do my hair care routine, and my hair is a mess because i got to have a shower. Um, but I'm just going to talk about what things I use for my hair and how I care for it. It won't be, like, a ton of stuff because I don't do much to my hair since my hair is pretty, like, not that dead because I, oh, I don't use that much heat on it because it's naturally straight. So I will just get to, in like, the basics and stuff. And then I'll tell you what, like tools that I use to with my hair. Well, first of all, when I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair, I am the type of person that just uses drugstore things. I don't think it's that much bigger of a deal if you use, like, high-end and stuff. I mean, if it gets my hair clean, if it makes my hair soft, maybe I'll buy cheap um, shampoo and conditioner, and then I'll buy one kind of expensive product to put in after my hair, like a leave-in conditioner or something. But I just really don't think it's worth the price to buy something really high end um but i mean it's completely up to you maybe it might maybe those are the only type of shampoos that work on your hair just whatever is up to you but this one works for me pretty good um so i just kind of do get random stuff but like my parents just usually buy it but the shampoo that i've been using that like that's in my shower right now is the tresemme touchable softness and this is actually for dry brittle hair which i don't usually like these kinds I have to get, I usually get one when I go, my parents don't know what kind I get, but I usually try to get ones that say for normal hair, because they don't make any for oily hair, I have oily hair, I'm like naturally oily hair, um, but now they only have them for like dry hair and um, normal hair, so I have to get the normal hair ones, but I didn't buy these, my parents did, so yeah, so this is just the one and it's in the blue, has blue right here, touchable softness. Yeah, works pretty good. And then for shampoo, I mean, conditioner, I use the Garnier Fertis Sleek and Shine. Again, for dry, unmanageable hair. I mean, like, my hair is not that unmanageable. So still watering it. And usually when I get out of the shower, I will spray some It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. And this is literally a lifesaver. It's does It shows you, like, 10 things that they do on the back. It says repairs, dry, damaged hair, add shine. Detangles, control frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body and flat iron spray and thermal protector. So, I mean, I guess you don't have to use a thermal protector with this, but I still do, but um, I haven't used it yet. So, what I'll do is, my hair is really hard to get a brush through, like, when I get out of the shower, just because I have so much hair. Because I have, like, really thick hair. You maybe not be able to see it on camera, but I do. Um, and I'm just going to, like, just, like, spray a little bit on the ends and a little bit higher. I don't try to get, like, not in your roots or else it will make it, like, um, oily. And this just works like a miracle, like it says. Um, it just it really, it really makes a brush go through my hair so much easier because it's so hard to do so, and it makes it really soft when it's dry. Next product that I would use, um, I don't usually use all these products at, like, one time, but say my hair is kind of, like, frizzy and... I don't have enough time to straighten it or whatever, but and I will use this BioSilk Silk Therapy. As you see, I don't really use a lot because I usually, my hair is not that frizzy. Well, actually it is, but I forget to use this. But if it is frizzy and I have time and I remember to use this, then I'll use a BioSilk Silk Therapy. And this is for like dry hair, not for wet hair. So I usually just use... Oh, oh. Anyway, so I'll just like take a little dime size, I'll run it through my hands, and then just put it on the ends of my hair to kind of reduce the frizz and make it a little bit softer. Now for when I use hot tools on my hair. For a heat protectant, I usually use the KQC Thermal Shine um, protectant spray or whatever. It looks like this and it smells like cologne. It smells so good. But I just like, I'd spray it in the, I'm going to blow dry my hair anyway, so I'm just going to show you it. Oh, what is this? What is this going on? I'd like spray it throughout my hair and it really keeps my hair like healthy and not like get a whole bunch of split ends. Um, but this is running out and I'm not sure that I'm going to want to have to buy it online even though I love it so much. Um, my other alternative is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray and yeah you just kind of like squirt it. And that works awesome as well and you could just get that at like CVS or Target or something. After I'm done with my hair, you definitely need to hairspray your hair. Well, some people don't need to, but I definitely need to. Um, I use this hairspray, and it's almost out. Like, 
I can't even number how many bottles I've been through with this. See, so like, no, oh, there's still left. Okay, so this is a Tresemme 24 hour body, and I swear by this, this is like my favorite hairspray ever. It smells good. Yeah, I mean, it's alright. And I don't know, it's like, you can, with this, you could go, like, on your hair forever. And it'll be, like, soaking, like, wet, and the hairspray, and it'll, like, touching, it'll be all sticky. You'll be like, oh, gosh, why did I do that? Now my hair's gonna be all sticky, and it's gonna get stuck together, and it's gonna be all gross. But once, like, I do that, and then I, like, finish the rest of my hair, and then I'll wait for it to dry a little bit, and it'll go back, and I'll be able to, like, run my fingers through it. And it still lasts for like it makes the curls last for so long. I could um, curl my hair at night, spray it, and then wake up in the morning and have like the same exact curls. Or I could curl my hair in the morning, wear it throughout the day, go to bed, and wake up again, and they still will be curled. So this works awesome. The curling iron I use is the Grande Her Styler, and I definitely, definitely. Um, would recommend this but if you it might be hard to get for some people sometimes you can get it in your mall like they'll have like little stands this is it's like called a her styler and it's just this and it's really expensive they're like a hundred and twenty something dollars and you're probably thinking no okay I'll walk away from that but they negotiate like so much like you'll just they'll be like okay how about a hundred no, never mind. I'll just I'll just leave. I can find something else. Or or ninety. No, it's still too high. What about eighty? And that's how my mom bought it for me because she got it for Christmas. She got it for me for Christmas and she bought it for like eighty dollars. Um, because they keep going down. And my friend got hers for like sixty dollars because like she kept going down. And so you can get it for really cheap if you keep negotiating. Um, I just got the black one and I've heard that you can get them at. Uh, swap meets too so if you find them there but you can also get like there's a lot of um, curling irons that are like this my straightener is a chi this is just like the original um, it makes kind of like a squeaky noise but I got this a while ago probably about a year ago and it's just a black one it looks like this kind of has so it's a chi and I kind of I really like how close they get together like you could see how like you could really get your hair good so it like holds on really tight to them, to your um, hair, and it makes it straight really good. It gets really hot, and just has one heat setting, which I don't like. But they have newer ones that like have different heat settings, and yeah, I really really like them. So yeah, that was my hair care routine. I talked so 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 much. You guys enjoyed this, and my hair is a disaster because I still haven't brushed it through. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thanks for watching. Bye.